how to measure your listing's Amazon SEO score. Why is this important? How can it make you money? If you are trying to make a listing, you don't want to just keyword stuff, right? Um, all fields in a listing also are not created equal. If you put a keyword in the title, it's worth more than if you put it in the uh, description. If you have a main keyword phrase uh, in phrase form, it's better than if you just have the individual keywords from that phrase just in random spots in your listing. There's so many things uh, uh, that kind of like drives relevancy for the Amazon algorithm. Now, nobody knows the exact formula of Amazon. And if anybody tries to say they do, they're full of baloney, right? But you know, me, what I did for over eight months was I tried to study the algorithm as much as possible, you know, launching hundreds of like fake products just to be able to see the effects on the algorithm when you change keywords around. And so I was able to came, come up with our data science team, this formula that, that helps sellers understand the effects of placement in the listings. But again, this is not like some exact formula. I do not have special insight into the Amazon algorithm. I can only make this formula based on my observations, but it's definitely going to help you for sure. Now let's go ahead and hop in with how you can actually use this. The, the first step, if you wanna have a listing score, is you need to go down here to listing analysis and then hit keyword performance rank. And once you get there, you are gonna have this button that says add competitors. Now, once you get to the add competitors page, you are going to need to enter in all of your competitors. Like right now, I'm in a coffin shelf listing and it already gives me like suggestions of which uh, ASINs I can pick, but I, I suggest putting your own ASINs right uh, in here. Uh, I, I entered, I think like seven or eight ASINs. And then once I do that instantly, you are gonna get a full score for your listing. Now, the reason why you didn't have a score before was because it's using the competitor performance score and, and so the search volume to be able to know what your score is. So for example, right here, my keyword performance score is 181,011. And I can actually see what goes into it. There's different ways that it calculates your keyword SEO score. Like if I have it an exact match, one of the keywords for my list, it's gonna give me a certain number of points. If I have it a plural or singular match, what does that mean? That means like if the keyword is spider web shelf, but then I put spider web shelves, uh, it's still gonna give me points, but not as much as if I put the exact keyword spider web shelf. If I have it in phrase match, that, that, that's a, uh, the, the keyword is gothic coffin spider web shelf. Well, you can see here in the title, I've got gothic and coffin together, but then spider web shelf is way at the end of the title. I still have all the keywords, so that's what's called a phrase uh, match, where maybe a part of the phrase is together, and then the other part of the phrase is in a separate part of the same uh, section. Then I've got field broad match. That means I can have a full phrase, but it's it's spread apart with no two keywords together in the uh, in a field in your listing. And a field means the title, bullet points, or description, right? And then I have listing broad match. That means maybe I have a three word phrase, and then you know the, the one keyword is in the title, one keyword is in the bullet points, one keyword is in the description. That's called field broad match. So as you write your listing, this score is going to change. Like, so for example, here's a keyword coffin decor that it says I haven't used in exact phrase form. Let me go ahead and throw it in my bullet points. By the way, you can see my score is 181,000. Let's go ahead and put just randomly coffin decor right here in that first a spot. And then, yeah, look, I got a line through coffin decor and my score now went up to 183,000. So first of all, that just shows you, you can manipulate this score. So like, you know, technically you could just throw keywords anywhere and get the highest score. I would like to hope that you understand that that's not the point of this tool is to just try and get a high score at all costs. You have, you can't just keyword stuff. Nobody likes that. Uh, but that's just to show you how that scoring system works. <laughs>